Hi, I'm Benno, and this is Pagan Poetry, an examination of all things music video. And today we'll be looking at Miley Cyrus's music video for her song, Flowers. <music> Flowers is from her eighth upcoming studio album, Endless Summer Vacation, which she has described as a love letter to L.A., you can see that in this video. I don't think it carries the through line all the way through, but it's there, obviously, in the beginning and gets a little weaker as the video goes along. But that's something to uh, keep an eye out and watch for as you, we watch this music video. The first thing that hits me is the widescreen anamorphic aspect ratio, uh, coming with a very cinematic look right out of the gates. We open on a shot of the city of LA and then pan over to Miley, who's walking across a bridge. Uh, and she's kind of presented in this tightly controlled fashion image with uh, a dress and the sunglasses, uh, a kind of stoic presentation right out of the gates. Um, and obviously we see that image loosen and become more playful as the music video goes on. She walks, of course, through the streets of L.A. and then around the one minute mark uh, strips down and walks across the sprinkler drenched lawn uh, and jumps into a pool. This reminded me uh, maybe as a nod to the movie The Swimmer, which is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, uh, where a guy swims his way across Los Angeles by diving into all the pools in this upscale neighborhood. Really trippy, cool movie, and I highly recommend it. Then we come to this workout scene. On my first pass at it, the workout scene struck me as out of place and jarring. Rewatching the video, I think the workout section works. I mean, it does play into the image of LA being body conscious and workout central. So I think it does play into that. So I think it actually does kind of work, but initially it threw me off and I didn't like it, but on repeated viewings, I'm accepting it and digging it. Then we see Miley uh, shower up, come out in a, a blazer, no shirt. I gotta say hats off to the editor, Brendan Walter for uh, cutting around, which must have been a very uh, nipple-heavy shoot. As far as I can tell, there's no double-sided tape on her blazer, sticking the blazer to her chest. <clears throat> so, man, they must have shot a bunch of passes, and he just did his magic cutting around any potential nip slips. Again, at this point, too, she's really shaken off that kind of constricted fashion image, dancing uh, for joy in the backyard of this mansion. Uh, they have the faked helicopter lighting uh, up above, uh, and it's nicely done. I like the music video. I think it accomplishes its task in this kind of referential love letter to Los Angeles. I lived for 17 years in L.A. I share her love for that city. The music video is directed by uh, Jacob Bixman. Bixman? Bixman? Bixman. I slaughter names. I slaughter them. Cut their throat and slaughter them. He's originally from Orange County, so he knows the kind of Southern California vibe. He's quite an established fashion model, uh, having worked with Dolce Gabbana, Yves Saint Laurent, and Paul Jean-Paul Gaultier. Transitioned into being a creative director. He worked on Miley Cyrus's attention tour. Miley Cyrus is an artist who is a little unruly, and God bless her for her. Uh, she has a long-standing relationship with the Flaming Lips, one of my favorite bands. Um, She's a bit of a weirdo. This is a high gloss music video. The gloss is dialed back a bit. It doesn't make the artist seem unreachable or untouchable. Uh, I think she comes off across as fun and playful at the end. Um, I think it's super successful. So this has been the inaugural uh, episode of Pagan Poetry. Let me know what you think. Peace.